Hi, welcome back. In this video, I want to show you what it looks like from a student's point of view to log into Zoom on a Chromebook. So for this video, I put my Zoom link in here and I'm logged in as a demo student. I'm going to click on classwork right here and I should be able to see my Zoom link and click on that. So this is the first screen that students will see. You want them to click on sign in right here and we're going to have them sign in with SSO. Then for company domain right here, they need to type in fleetwoodasd-org. And then hit continue. Next, they're going to sign into their Microsoft account. This is the same login they would use for the Chromebook. After they've signed in, make sure that they click this. Don't show this again. So they stay signed in. Hit yes. So once they get to this screen, we know that they're logged in. You can see at the, the upper left-hand corner that the student's name will be there and they'll be logged in. So what we wanna do next is we will actually wanna have them close this window and then they wanna go back to Google Classroom. We'll click on the link again in Google Classroom. Now it should take them directly to your meeting using that link. They've already been logged in. This screen will pop up momentarily, but it should actually start connecting them as you see so if you're having the students do this initial login process and they get this far and you can see that they're in your personal waiting room, then that was a success. So at that point, you can tell the students to close all the tabs. You've done the test. You know it works now. So the next time they need to click on that link for Google Classroom, it will take them directly in. They don't have to put in the Fleetwood ASD-org company domain or anything like that. All of that will be retained for that FID. There are several different ways that students can access Zoom. I recommend that you do this. It's probably the easiest way to do it because then you've posted the link in Google Classroom. They're used to going to Google Classroom to get links and information and assignments. So just have them click that next time. Again, it will take them right into the waiting room and that should be it. And that should be something that makes it much smoother for you when you have a fit. If you have any questions or you'd like me to help you walk the students through this process, you can always email me at kbolendorf at fleetwoodasd.org. Until next time, have a great day.